Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you two short videos um, today and maybe tomorrow and this is going to be about walking into triggers and when a timer expires we're going to move scenes. Now a lot of people have been asking me about this and to save everybody the hassle I'm going to just show the two quick videos and hopefully this irons anything out that people want to know. So these are very simple sort of games design techniques and really if you ever see anything in a game where enemies spawn once you get to a certain location and anything like that it's usually because you've walked through a trigger and it's triggered something to happen an event a s enemy to spawn whatever it might be so what we're going to do straight off is add a game object we'll go create other and then we'll add a cube we'll put it down towards the ground and what we'll do is we'll scale our cube so we're definitely going to be able to walk through it. What we'll do is then we'll delete the mesh renderer. And then you'll just have the box collide that's left. And then from the box collider you want to make sure that it is trigger. Then on your first person controller you want to make sure that it is tagged as player. Mine's there. If you need to add a new tag you can add one down there. And then what we can do from there is create a new script. And we'll add it JavaScript and we'll call it move scene trigger now obviously you can have that as whatever you want we'll open up in mono develop and then once we're opening mono develop we'll delete the two starting functions that are at the beginning and then what we'll do is we'll say function on trigger enter open brackets call call on collider close that up put two curly brackets below and we'll say that if call dot but mon developer likes to change it to call dot tag is double equals in quotes player close that up add two curly brackets below then we'll say application dot make sure a capital load level and then open brackets and then quotes and then inside the quotes you can have whatever level we're going to move to so we'll just say new scene for instance and then we'll put a semicolon on the end we'll save that we'll go back into unity and on our trigger which is named cube you can name that whatever you want if you add move scene to that what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new scene so I'll just save this out for now what I'll do is I've created a new scene there we'll save this scene as we'll save this as new scene like we mentioned in the script you can see it down there what we need to do is go back into our other scene that we just had and you can see that we're still on it now if we go to our build settings so file build settings what we need to do is we need to add a new scene into there because if it's not added into there it won't know where to go so now if we play our game with that script on the collider and we walk into it it's going to take us to that new scene but because that new scene didn't really have anything in it that's all it's done it's just taken us to a new scene so as long as your new scene is named exactly what it has or what is named in the script so new scene exactly the same and then you add it to the build settings once you go on the trigger so the on trigger collision event if it's tagged player then we'll load the level that we want simple thing and hopefully that clears a few things up that people have been asking for um, we'll be getting on to the survival series again in the coming days. So thanks again for watching. Cheers.